Life insurance is the world's safest industry. There's an account that yields five to six times more than long-term CDs, has guaranteed returns in most cases, does not have to be reported to the IRS, can be accessed by any time without penalty, lets you retire 100% income tax-free, and yet almost no one knows how wonderful these plans are because the government places tight restrictions on the advertising of these accounts even though they are 100% legal. Why are they secret? I'll tell you in a moment. Who uses these accounts? Well, let's talk about it. President Kennedy, most of the other presidents, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, when he died, had $500,000 excuse me, $562,000 of cash value in his cash value life insurance. That's equivalent to $7 million of cash value. Fortune 1000 executives all use these accounts. Yet 51% of the people who manage equity funds on Wall Street have zero stake in their funds and they own enormous amounts of cash value life insurance. Bankers take this money that they pay you on your savings and they make 37 times more on your money than, and they get to keep it. Life insurance is easily accessible, it is liquid. 4,000 banks, 4,000 banks own $140 billion of cash value. Bank of America has more money in cash value, $18.5 billion, than all of the value of its 5,600 branches and the second tallest building in Manhattan. Those are valued all at $10.9 billion. Citibank is $4.5 billion. J.P. Morgan Chase, $9.8 billion. Wells Fargo, $19.3 billion. I ask every one of my clients when I read them this, how come the banks don't have all their money in CDs? You're laughing, nervous laugh. How come? Because they put their money in a place where it is dead bang safe, where it is accessible, where it accumulates without current taxation. If you take guys like the guy who ran GE, I can't think of his name because I'm going so fast right now, they're paying his pension using the cash values of his life insurance and the corporation is happy to do that because they will be reimbursed for every cent of pension money they paid.